Hello, my gorgeous Ophiuchus, and welcome to your weekly energy check-in reading. We are just going to jump right in and get started. This week, we have three place cards where you might find your soulmate if you are looking. We have a library or a bookstore, a mystic haven. It says enchantment, esoteric magic, intrigue, hidden wisdom. I feel like this could happen anywhere. And then we have a forest cabin. A secluded retreat, cozy fireplace, or a remote getaway. So that could be another place to find somebody. Okay. We're going to hop right in and start at the top here. We have competition. Um, I don't feel like you're being put in competition, although it could be. Um, so, you know put yourself on whatever side you're on. I feel like there is some sort of competition in this situation between um, either you and someone else uh, fighting over the same person or your person and someone else both fighting over you. It could go either way. But I feel like Spirit's saying, uh, keep yourself open to love. They say it is safe for you to let your heart be seen. Don't be scared. Um, so that's kind of the energy overseeing the whole of the reading. The beginning of the week we have in your head and love your shadow. Um, so it says accept and work with the flaws in yourself so you can learn to accept others as they are. Um, I feel like you're maybe looking at your flaws or yourself flaws and all. I hear beautifully flawed as well. So I feel like just know that uh, no matter your flaws, you're still beautiful, you're still valuable and worthy of love. And I feel like maybe in the begin beginning of the week, you're kind of just seeing uh, yourself more clearly, or you should be seeing yourself more clearly. Um, so if we hop on over to midweek, we do have true love and the moon. So I don't know if this is a wish to have this or if this might actually be coming in for some of you. Um, this could be someone you're already with. You could be celebrating something with this person. Um, even just celebrating life itself, I hear. Um, so we have true love. It says, this is the romance of a lifetime. True and lasting love is here for you. So whether you're manifesting this or experiencing it, I feel like midweek, it's like we know what we want and maybe we're kind of pulling that in. Or you might have somebody new coming in to offer you this true love. So it could go either way. We have towards the end of the week, we have next destination and difficulties. Uh, jealousy from others may serve as obstacles to the success of this connection. So perhaps someone does come in midweek and then they may be having trouble. Uh, there is that competitive energy. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if there were people interfering in this connection. It could be a jealous friend um, or friend group. Um, there could be third party interference. We do have this two on one. Um, so I do get that energy again. So there is definitely some sort of competition. I'm hoping nobody is putting you in a third party situation where you would have to compete for their, their energy. Um, we do have, sorry, I'm the worst. This could be um, a reason someone hadn't stepped towards you in the past. Um, there may have been interference and perhaps that interference is still around. Um, I feel like this sorry I'm the worst is that I haven't put this to bed yet or I haven't stopped this from happening yet. Um, we do have express your love. It's important to let people know that you love them. You have nothing to lose. Um, I feel that's right. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain by sharing uh, your thoughts and feelings with uh, those you care about. So gorgeous energy. I feel like there is that opportunity. Um, even if you do come together with someone midweek, just know that it's not always going to be super smooth sailing. People will try to interfere, especially if this is a divine connection. That just really happens. Um, I feel like the two of you, it should make the two of you lean on each other even more and make you stronger in the situation. Uh, so, you know, 
I feel like if there is interference, I don't think it's anything that the two of you wouldn't be able to handle. Okay, we're gonna pull some initials here. Just a little bit more. Oh, we're dropping them. Okay, we have a six or a nine. An X could be somebody's X coming back in. We do have the letter Z or, yeah, they're Zs. Um, I was gonna say N, but we have an N here as well. R, a Q, an A, an I, an M or a W, an S, a T, a K, seven, an N, a W, a K, two Fs there, a D, an H, a C, an M. Okay, I think that's good. We'll let you pause your screen and then I'm gonna sweep these aside. So your initials, their initials, someone coming in for you, you might see their initials. They could be 36 or I heard 39. Um, so that could be for someone and then the year, like years old. Okay, oh, we have P-Q-I-R-N-A-W-M-X-1 and an O. Those were kind of sticking out. All right, let's pull some charms here for Ophiuchus for the week ahead. What does Spirit have? We do have something very special coming about around Christmas time or Christmas holiday season. Um, I don't know if this is something you're trying to manifest or act. I see somebody lighting candles. Um, so this could be, um, you could practice or um, you could just be trying to manifest something special around Christmas time for yourself. We do have love here. You could be manifesting love. We do have the key to love. So I feel like the key to love is to really focus your energy um, in really positive ways to help this kind of come into your life or to ready yourself to be open for it. I do feel like something special is coming in around the holiday season. Um, you could be spending it with someone new if you're looking. Uh, we, I hear hook, line, and sinker. So this could be someone that's just, I'm seeing that fish hook. Um, you could, um, this could either catch you by surprise. I feel like someone coming in could catch you by surprise. Or um, this relationship itself that's coming in might catch you by surprise. What do we have here? We have a little lion. Um, I kind of feel like maybe the situation is causing, uh, is a cause for you to be brave. I feel like um, maybe you've got, I hear a little brave. Um, I don't know if for whatever reason you may be shy around the person that comes in or even if you're not commonly a shy person, this person may make you feel a little shy. Um, so I feel like spirit saying be brave. Um, I feel like this is coming in for you or good things are coming in for you. You may have to be brave to step towards these things. Um, I'm gonna save that. Um, I feel like the person coming in for you or coming towards you is a nurturing person. We do have glow up energy here or um, I hear a holiday party or something along those lines, you may go to our holiday party and meet someone is a possibility. Uh, let's see. We do have busy. I feel like the week ahead could be a very busy one for you. Um, I don't feel like it's in a bad way. I just feel like it's in a, I hear in a rushed state. So you may have just a lot to get done this week. I hear family and friends. So that could be for some of you as well. You could have a holiday party coming up this week, an early holiday party. I hear something about your resilience. Um, I feel like this has to do with you really being, I feel like it has to do with love too. Um, I, I hear you stayed busy even when you were healing. Um, so maybe from past situations, I feel like um, I hear fully grown or grown back. Um, so it was like a starfish growing that appendage back. I feel like you have healed from past things. And I feel like if you're wondering if you are ready to step forward into something new, a new love situation, I feel like spirit is saying that you are ready. Yeah. This has something to do, again, I'm getting pyramid energy. 
Um, I'm kind of seeing this as one of those gold. Um, I feel like it, this energy has something to do with pyramids. So you could be doing something spiritually coming up or having some sort of an awakening and something to do with pyramid energy and um, I, the blue star um, is what I hear. So that could mean something for you or you could look that up and find something there for you, maybe where you resonate. I am seeing being drawn to my cards over here and it says indigo angel. So that could be something as well. Um, you could be an indigo child or a rainbow child or a crystal child. Um, you could be a Blu-ray child. Um, I just feel like there's some sort of energy here um, about ascension. So um, you could be uh, resonating with my reading this morning. Um, I did have something come up about um, energies and lagging energies. Um, if you're going through an ascension process within the next uh, two weeks, you may feel a little uh, low energy and then um, it's only kind of like pulling you down energy so it can slingshot you forward really fast. Um, so I kind of feel like that energy might be here as well for you off you guess. Okay, that is what I have for you for the week ahead. Looks like good energy. Um, try not to worry about people trying to interfere. I don't think they can really cause too much of a problem. They might slow things down, but they can't stop what's meant for you, okay? So no worries there. All right, until next time, bye.